In this problem, we're told what is the magnitude of the electric force of attraction between an iron nucleus, Q equals plus 26E, and its innermost electron if the distance between them is 1.5 times 10 to the minus 12 meters. So what we're trying to do here is find the magnitude of electric force. And so we can denote that by F sub C. And the formula you use to solve for the magnitude of the electric force of attraction is F sub C, which equals K, which is a constant, multiplied by Q1. So let me put this in parentheses, Q1 times Q2, and then all over R squared. So this is the formula we're going to use. So we need K, we need uh, the charge of particle 1, particle 2, and then we need the distance between the two. Right, so let's just write down what we're given in this problem. So what are we told? So we're told the distance between the two particles, which we denote as the radius r, is equal to 1.5 times 10 to the minus 12 meters. So we have the radius. What we need is k. And so k, what it is, is just a constant, right? So it's just a number you have to memorize, which is just the same for everything, which is basically 8.988 times 10 to the 9 newton meter squared over coulombs squared right and then what's q1 and q2 so this is going to be the charge of both of our particles right so q1 and q2 so what are their charges so the first one right we're doing this between the iron nucleus and its innermost electron so basically let's just start with q1 so q1 is going to be the nucleus and q2 is going to be the electron so they tell us the charge of the nucleus is equal to 26e. So basically 26 times the charge of an electron. Because we know an electron has the same charge, right? All electrons have the same charge. And you need to know the charge of an electron is equal to 1.602 times 10 to the minus 19c. Right? So this is the charge of an electron. And they're telling us the iron nucleus has a charge of 26 times this. Right? So Q1, we're going to say is 26 times uh, an electron, right? The charge of an electron. 1.602 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs, right? And then the other particle, right? So this is particle one, right? This one. And then the second particle is its innermost electron, right? So this is going to be the charge of an electron, which we said before is 1.602 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs, right? So now we have Q1, right? This is going to be the charge of the nucleus. This is the charge of the other particle. And we have R and we have K. So all we have to do now is just plug it in, right? Because we have everything in the correct units. So just going ahead and plug it in. F sub C, actually, let me do it down here. F sub C is equal to K, which is 8.988 times 10 to the 9, right? And I'm not, I'm not going to do the units, but it's going to cancel out to newtons. And then Q1 is 26, right? And then we multiply that by 1.602 times 10 to the minus 19, right? And then we're multiplying this by Q2, which is 1.602 times 10 to the minus 19. And then we divide this whole thing by the radius or the distance between the two squared. So 1.5 times 10 to the minus 12, and then square it, right? So we have K. Q1, Q2, and then the radius squared. So when you go ahead and plug this in, you're going to get F sub C is equal to 0 0.002665. This is going to be Newtons. And I'm just going to go 1, 2, 3. So this is going to be about 2.7. And then we moved it to the right 3, so times 10 to the minus 3 in Newtons. So 2.7 times 10 to the minus 3, that's going to be uh, the electric force of attraction between the nucleus and its innermost electron. But yeah, so this is going to be your answer, and hopefully you found this useful.